All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to link an Excel spreadsheet to a Word document so that you can pull data from Excel into Word. This can be useful for generating mass mailings or automating forms or whatever else you wanna use it for. So the first thing you're gonna do is open an Excel spreadsheet and a Word document. And then you're gonna decide which fields you wanna have available for you in the Word document. So if you're working from a template, you may go through and, and identify fields, but if you're just starting from scratch, go ahead and uh, start in the Excel spreadsheet. So I'm gonna decide that I wanna use uh, name, date, time, and place. All right, so I'm gonna create those across the first row of my spreadsheet. I'm then gonna select them, and I'm gonna insert a table. Now we're pretty much done with this. I'm, I'm just gonna enter some data here. So let's say John, uh, John Smith, November 20th, 2020 at 5.30 p.m. This is all pretty arbitrary, just making it up. And for the heck of it, let's, let's go ahead and create one more row. All right, um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this spreadsheet. So save it somewhere that makes sense to you. I've found that if I'm working with these on a SharePoint or a share drive, it can cause some issues. So while you're working it, you might wanna just have them locally on your hard drive, but it's up to you and you can kinda of play with that and see what happens. So now that we're uh, done with our Excel worksheet, we're gonna go over to Word. So what we need to do is we need to point the Word document to the Excel spreadsheet that we want to pull data from. And the way we do that is we go to select, I'm sorry, first we go to mailings and then select recipients, use an existing list. And then we're going to navigate to wherever we save that worksheet, which for me is right here on my desktop. We're going to click yes. And then we're gonna select the worksheet that we created the data on. And for us, we only had one worksheet, so that's easy. If it's a more complex workbook, uh, it may get a little bit more confusing, so you may wanna pay attention to what you name your sheets. But for this one, we only really have one option, so sheet one, and then okay. All right, so now uh, Word is gonna give us the option of inserting these fields into our Word document. And the way we access those is by going to Insert Merge Field right here. And now you see the four fields that we created in Excel are available here. So we're gonna insert name, date, time, and place. All right, so if we, if we actually wanna see what's behind those fields, we can hit preview results. So that's gonna give us our first one. Remember John Smith, November 20th, 530 Chicago. That's our first one. And then if we wanna see the second one, you just go up here. Jane Smith, November 15th, 2020, 415 Chicago. So the way we could use this, uh, let's say we're writing a bunch of different letters. We could say, you know, we could have our name, comma, um, I look forward to our meeting scheduled for date at, you know, time and in place. Obviously, it's, that's pretty simplistic, but uh, just demonstrating how to do it. So now that we have our letter written with our fields in it, preview results, you see it automatically fills it out. So that's pretty much it. Uh, once you're done with this, you can then use Finish and Merge to create your final documents, but that's all there is to it. It's, it's pretty simple, um, but if you don't know how to do it, it is a little bit weird and a little complicated. So I hope this helps, and if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out.